Dead part two, or Dead two part two. Um, last time we left off with the first two missions of Red Dead Redemption two, which resulted in about fifty minutes. Um, however, uh, this time around I have some panels and some other stuff going on. Good morning. Morning, Arthur. Of course. Up with you boys because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> <A> party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. You sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place there are O'Driscoll's about? Yeah! Right, let's do this, boys. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this core of their planet. There's quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us. You guys them. can also donate. I made a donation panel. Um, if you guys you could donate, that'd be very appreciated. I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. There, boy. <laughs> Hold up here. Hold. All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready. Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, 
See if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. I love glitches. Glitches are so fun. There's one more chapter. I mean, not one more chapter. After this, there's going to be a mission that's really, like, boring. It's not, like, irritating. It's just really boring. And it's just hard to play because it's just really boring and you want to be over with. But... That's Trust me, the out. other two missions are actually pretty Home? good, so don't I worry. think so. Yeah, that's him. Apologies for hitting the mic. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. <laughs> they leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. All right. We're probably going to be broadcasting for two hours this time around instead of 50 horse. minutes. We're probably going to be able to get to like there. two missions into sure thing. chapter two, and then we're good. Good. Come on, let's go. Uh, I hate. Uh, like, did they do something with that? Because before you just walked away after job. you take it. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including comb, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. There's there was an option over here about the stream on Xbox to show the chat because I have my computer right next to me, sure. And I could check the chat, but it's really annoying. Hold on a second. It says my. Things buffering so. I'm surprised that wasn't subtitled. Like I heard hey, everything he said, but that's fine. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. Live Come patches what would up to C D reduction. Come on, follow me. Get in cover, Arthur. So what do we do? 
doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Okay, I'll go first. Oh, go. Boom, boy. Oh no, we got shot at. Put some fire behind me. Here goes her. Let's go. It's gone down, Dutch Vanderland. Kill you so good. Go down faster. Oh, come on. I sound before whoever shot that. I don't want to be on the open. I'm going to die. Come on. I have like the spread for guns in this game, like they're like no matter what kind of gun it is, there's only spread. And I know it was 1899, but come on. Why is it moving so much? Why is the camera moving? I'm gonna have to crouch down. And the boy right here. Oh, if I could fucking kill him, Jesus. There we go. That took way too long. I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. Do you recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. They come. Alright, yeah, this will be used our first bit of dead eye. Dutch, please get out of the way. I beg of you. Made a water cap up be with us. Did he die? Oh, thank god. I thought he didn't die. Thank Kappa for that. Shit, there's a lot of them. I can't tell if that was in the neck or the head. Probably in the head. Like the jaw. The like the lower jaw. Away. Good work, boys. Back to the camp. Okay, I was just get what we need. This real quick. <clears throat> I'm getting there first, so Dutch isn't like, <gasps> we're waiting on you, Arthur. Although I'm like there first. Or like second. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Uh, yeah, can I take the chew? Oh wait, no, I can't. I guess I already had like a ton of chewing tobacco. Okay. And bourbon. Good old Kentucky bourbon. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. 
This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. Oh, not a man down. Ah. Good work, fellas. Hey, we're the main characters, of course. Down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are. In the KSI Reddit, I um we allowed to get uh, a step behind made the a Black thing, Water. made that a post. And it says top ten biggest anime plot twist and the number one spot was um, right. I inspected Get Deji's in, um, channel page and I made his sub count 10 million. Thing is that that will never happen. He's been stuck in 9.7 mil for like probably eight months now. Hey, and he also decided to um, upload the no re-upload. The All diss track right. he had on KSI, um, Beaumont to go okay. when they were having beef, just so he could get more of after um, he realized that Sean was kind of dead. Get wrecked, kid. Get fucking clean, mate. Come in with me. Shit. Get fucking pulled. This is. Come on, I, I, I'm nobody, Mister. Please don't. The more you say that, the more helping I am. I'm bringing you back to What's camp. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Please, mister! Yeah, level two. You're hurting me! Shut your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. <clears throat> I'm just excited to get the Nueva Paraiso skin. I hope to God I'm pronouncing that right. And the thoroughbred, uh, they don't tell me what's nothing. it called? I swear. Horse. I don't want to die, mister. Please, I'll do anything. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone He literally changed his voice tone like three different times. Okay. I thought it was like Not sentences. One more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones, right? There. Okay. <laughs> Arthur in like the first half of the game is like such an asshole. Like, like not an asshole, he's just a dickhead. <laughs> and this is one of the many are. shining examples. Let's introduce you to the boy. But I love Arthur. Arthur's the shit. Don't 
hurt me, please? No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got them. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Funniest part is how Arch's like, don't worry, you're real nice, like, sarcastically. Then all of a sudden, Duchess comes out somewhere and just says, you found the whole shit. We might get a gold medal or silver medal. I think we took a little more than 15 minutes. Yeah, I think it's the minute thing. Yeah. Oh well. Let's do your boy Simon Peterson. The stereotypical chef. Here, Mr. Morgan. Chef, my God. Chef. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were <laughs> stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted awful. <sighs> Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you Sword can kill it. Salted you awful. need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. He's got a point. You can't just stay in a town. <coughs> abandoned mining town that has almost sub-zero temperatures. Yeah, you take this. Call it relax. You'll have to. Oh, Wait. you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Yeah. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You got a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. 
Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Oh shit, I also got a video. Fuck me. There's some patches of grass here. Sorry, Charles. This is good. Let's look down this way. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Quiet boys. Hey, stop here a second. Why is it like slowing down? It's weird. There's deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? I really don't like this mission, so I'm just gonna speed through it. You're gonna need right. a boat. Don't leave it on your horse. The gun will scare everything around. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. <laughs> no. I'll start moving slowly and quietly once I see the deer. Couch it down a bit, dude. I'm fucking oh, going so. full speed. Maybe not. I said slow and quiet, Arthur. Are you ready with that bow? Sound like Wado a little bit. Aim for their head. Let's go, kids. Hold on a second. Where did you at? They're over here. I mean, I know for sure. Okay. Okay, so I study it real quick. Okay. Um, I basically didn't track it. Got it. Well done. There you go. I think that's all we can carry. Okay. You oh, I'm going one. for this I'll one, get Charles. Get back. You sure your hands are okay? Is this storming outside? What the hell? Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Right, wait, wait a minute. Let me check out the weather right now on my weather app. It's very unlikely for them to do something like this. No, it's just raining. That's weird. It's supposed to be foggy at four in the morning, but not nighttime, really? That's surprising. Kids. Not bad, boy. Okay, boy. You see what happened to Arthur's arm right there? It's like, what are you like? A ninety degree hey, angle. Head back when you are. Come on, then. Let's head back. Oh. I'm sorry, Charles. No hard feelings, man. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. Yeah, it's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck's finally on the turn. 
Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Hmm. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much. six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. Uh, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Watch out. Oh, yeah. They're up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. They're up ahead. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. That's a bad idea. <laughs> Have you seen the size of it? Real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms Have like this. Have you seen the size of it? All <laughs> I mean, I must suck. They eat all their food. Then there's yeah. really no food at all. And cruel world. Such a cruel world where fucking winter storms start Off in the summer. I'm not summer, I'm stupid spring. Yeah. Spring winters. Those are terrible for animals because they just sleep all the time. Then when they're actually out to feed, they can't. <laughs> it's still snowy. They're probably gonna starve. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. How long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> Taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. 
He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I hate this mission so much. Probably for the rest of the mission, we're gonna talk, but I just felt like so mad playing the mission. It's like not bad, it's just so fucking boring. I'm gonna hit Charles, can you here. fucking horse fucking slower or not? You're basically a cock block, except I'm not trying to fuck a girl. Just yeah. fuck off, man. Right. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. I uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. Takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, I don't care, Charles. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Go get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? <laughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> Can't believe Grant is out of four. It's already 11 years old. Turned like 11 four days ago. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch... Being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah, and you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur, I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. What? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower. 
Just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Jose? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we has in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Yeah, mine. Everyone ready? All right, let's head out. You damn right, Dutch. Bye. Don't care about his formation. Okay, gentlemen, listen up. It All is. You, according to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. So there's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after, Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep, Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. Love this score. So fucking. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Mike Bell, Charles Smith, Charles Smith. Arthur Morgan, Javier Escalada, what about here? young Lenny always here? The always the first man on his horse. horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. <clears throat> Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down, see how he's getting on? Okay. 
All right, let's go check Williams, son. The one who take the gun dynamite on the track. Right. I'm taking dynamite on the track. How you getting on? Yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Oh, yeah, yeah. Said detonator. Let's connect the okay, wire. This is good. That is not how you make All dynamite. Right. That should do. Uh, you good night. I mean. The others. I got it from here. says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Keep my gloves on. Keep my awesome winter gloves on. Alright, let's do this voice. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. Oh gosh, my throat you is all know what to do. really bad right now. Here we go. Mm. Shit, no, what? God, oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. It was my fault. Come on. You're pathetic. <laughs> You know that? Wait, it's not your fault, Arthur, that, that you said it's all okay. It's your fault that you fucking didn't know how to ignite a goddamn dynamite right. Here we go, here we go. Oh, I might miss this. Oh, I'm flipping. Oh, Lord. Hey, down here! Yeah, now, you'll get it. You. You'll get it by coming here now later on. Snake oil, real quick. Okay. <laughs> the wreck's good. Painted black. I have to stop singing before I get copyrighted. Through that guy's body. If we don't stop this train soon, Boom, the yeah. will never catch us. You fucking knocked off my hat. Know, You're getting fucking conly, you fucking bitch. <gasps> Fuck you, you fucking drink the doctor. Fuck. Hey, what the fuck? You fucking pwned, mate. Oh, 
don't want to get uh, I want to get gold medal on this. Oh, I saw I got shot there. Oh god. Oh god, there's more on top. No, take cover! Arthur, what the fuck are you doing, you dumb fuck? Why is, like, it's so off range? Like, I know the dead eyes woke, but I don't think that affects me. Like, goddamn, like, accuracy. Okay, just in time before I got shot. Thanks, kids. Good shooting, kid. I can see now why the old Driscoll brought so many boys up here for this. Get over here. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake him up a little! I'm not because I don't want to waste any ammo, Ducks. You silly fool! That's enough! Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. <coughs> Thanks, my boy Bill. But you boys in there might want to take a go. Go. good enough. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Cool guys on what got explosions. They blow things up and they Dead fucking memes from 2013. What, 2013? Wow. What a great year. Get on up there. For memes, games like GTA 5, <laughs> and some pretty good movies. Uh, but uh, I forget what kind of movies came out. I know Skyfall, I think, came out either 2012 or 2013. I think Look it was 2013. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. I had the best well, YouTube you videos the the that I've watched. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you the rushing to jump on that train. Yeah, He's cool. Yeah, yeah, this is the I'll give you that. Two da da In the two days of explanation, I have a PD in the reservation. I believe you know, I think lead in the conflict between Run. Cornwall and Erasinica and the day then I heard the new dated. November 9th, 19, 1898. On receipt of finally proceeded with phases two and three of the projects, then you with a detailed report of finance within a month or two. I don't think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices. I don't want to read this. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. No, it's Have you checked all Open up. Yeah. Hope on a second, mate. With your horses, you weird fucking boys. cunt. Come on. <clears throat> Why is the camera weird? I like it like that though. 
What did you find? It's usually from head above, not like, Bonds. like they a waist. Oh, sure. I kind of like that camera. Bear bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Be pretty fucked up if you just leave them on a train. That was literally riding until someone does get on and finishes the ride. So, why just leave them be? I think that's the most honorable decision to make. Also, considering they're close to a town like Valentine or um, like a train station or something like that, I think they'll be fine. Make, get some food. And also, yeah, the last car basically has nothing in it except for luxurious shit. Some food, but barely any. Well, none that I see. Alright, we're about to commence the last mission of chapter one. I was just about to say Red Dead 2, but now I'm like, no. That's wrong. That's very, very wrong. Yeah, Mary Beth, what the fuck you doing? So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no... Near Valentine. ...as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Take a look. You all right back there? Is everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I broke I the goddamn wheel. 
All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. I did. Hopefully, it calm down. Stop yelling at me. Nearly there. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. It's funny, one coat equals protection from any coldness. Then take it off, it's summer. If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. Hello there, friends. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. I'll tell you a story about how my life got flipped turned upside down. All right now, stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yep. <laughs> so... What happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way. I mean, you mentioned John. We you should at least talk about and why you dislike him. As we plan. And, like, no. I'm like everyone else. Correct direction on our desperate Besides his life. Down the I mean, kind yes, of his I life. So. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws. Working girls, our kind of place. Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. <coughs> now how low do you think Pardon Dutch me, is really the going to lie? Is in the background. It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Get on the road. Maybe. It just no, isn't like Charles. To lose I'm his not like getting back on the road. I mean, now I am, but for way no is. way. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time, and we're still here, so. I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. 
I went the wrong way. I must show myself the way. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, so they could do it with his eyes closed. He can mix yarrow and ginseng. Two herbs that will make you replenish cores because if you get poisoned, you'll just be fine after eating them. Just mixing them to do with his eyes closed. Wow. There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. When I first heard this, I was so nice. terrified. I'm like, is this a ghost hey, listening? Like, talking on. to us? But then I just realized it's like, they're just a sunny mist. I'm like, oh, hey, Javier. How you okay, doing? Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting Haven't in seen here, you Javier? since, like, nope. second well, fucking well. mission. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Arthur. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You were wrong, Hosea. This place is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now? It is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck, east of the Grizzlies and out of money, and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam in a few months. Why the hell is Charles already, like, so, so ready? He literally just Would had, like, just all his winter gear on, like, and then, like, 30 seconds later, he has it all off, chopping wood. <laughs> you know, I don't mind. Gentlemen, Charles I'm beast. going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Never see Walk that out again. around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find, Uncle. Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town. What? Wasn't it not like that like Valentine. before when you were in Blackwater town, and, and, and Grizzlies and all the other right. places you were before that Dutch? A decent place wow. To start. And, uh, we need pretty food. shit at fucking Real food. gang that means every day, marketing. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp. The camp gets, gets its, its size. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent Sorry ready, for me hitting the mic again. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, of course, you can always make more money. money. Guys, guys, guess what? You can make more money. I love the question of the work. How may I help you today? Got 
off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. They've been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more. Yes, your boy. See he's thinking a little clearer. But the bigger be it, the bigger I think we all feel a little happier. But I'm gonna shave. Despite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur. Boy, 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 Arthur. <sighs> Arthur. It's funny saying Arthur like day. Jose is like. Let's hope so. Nice voice. There's a bunch I don't want to say accent, but it's not really an accent. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole <laughs> list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> Yeah, but you actually aren't. You're just gonna talk to your boy, you know. Okay. Then we're going back here. We're gonna shave. Uh, because I don't really like Arthur with a, like a beard. Unless it's like those big beards that you get, like that are like really long. And I, I prefer this beard. You know, it's nothing. And he just looks more fresh. And we're gonna put on our Special edition outfit. Um, so we had the gunslinger, just the regular summer gunslinger, winter gunslinger. This is our uh, special edition one, Nueva Paraiso. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, this is probably one of the best looking um outfits in the game. I don't. I'm, a lot of people aren't fans of the hat. I actually kind of like the plantation hat. Cause yeah, well, I don't really like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. Let's be the Nuevo Brazo, or whatever. Good morning, Arthur. What do you think of this place, Susan? An improvement on the last, that's for sure. Well, that ain't too hard. Of course. Could use a slug of whiskey in this. Maybe after lunch, hey? Morning. How you doing, Karen? Oh, all right, I guess. Grimshaw's driving me crazy. Well, so no change there. All right, Mayor Biff. I'm bored out of my mind. Been cooped up for days. Well, bored is better than freezing. About ready to stab one of these needles in my just yet. We need to get something out of them first. I ain't promising nothing. <laughs> okay. Trust me, um, what's her name? Sadie becomes a bigger character later on. And a lot badass, actually. She's just like the kind of gal who wants her run, you know? Lift with your knees. Yeah, guys, you should lift with your knees, as Jose always says. My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. <laughs> you seem like a decent fella. Oh yeah, we also got the GTA 5 uh, double character. action revolver, I think it's called. We'll it there, Holy yeah. shit. Fucking Pearson, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> it's like, morning, Mr. Mr. Morgan. How's a cigar? Not bad. But sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in, uh, in black water. I know. Well, if I find one, you can have it. Well, you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. I do well. <laughs> I don't take too much pride in your work. <laughs> so funny. X D D D D D. And definitely not wiser. Oh boy, what's up, my dude? Oh, 
Don't s tell me to lift my knees. Okay. Good. Pretty good. Thank you, Arthur. Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. What? what the hell is that barrel full of milk? What? The, what the hell is that? What is that? I, I forget what that's called. Leonard, Hosea. Have any luck out there? Oh yeah, this oh, conversation is actually kind of funny. I want to listen to it. Robbed a drunk and wanted to fight. Arthur never said he'd been robbed. <laughs> <laughs> no, not Arthur. Also, uh, a couple of morons got me. So, I ran away, came back, robbed him. <laughs> Good lad. How about you? I already put it there. Not yet. Look how dirty that horse be. Hi there, Dominique Chicken. Is that? I hope it's the Dominique. I can't see it. Oh, it's a Java Chicken. Okay, close enough. We only need to do one more, ch no, two more chores. We have to bring another stack of, um, what's it called? Those goods and shit. Did you and Marcus see anything when you rode ahead? And then we have the we need to worry axe. About. Uh, wood. I'm gonna go to Reverend Swanson first after we finish our chores. The reason why I do the chores is because it upgrades our ability, so it makes me have more honor. And as you heard in my last playthrough, I want to be as honorable as I possibly can. And if I fuck up, I will kind of feel bad. Especially if it's, like, something really bad. I'm like, oh. Don't mess with me, please. I'm not. I'm just walking past, putting down a sack full of maize. Maize just... For the goods. Oh, oh my God. I'm losing the ability to speak English. Where'd Abigail go? Oh, I see her. The plantation ad doesn't really fit Arthur whenever he's shaven, but it's nice. I still like it. Once he like grows a little stubble, then I think he's good. There's Jose and John talking to each other to the right. It's just Micah looking like a grade A dickhead. One more axe swing after this one, and then we are good. And boom. There you go. You like what you see, Sadie? How are you doing? How do you think I'm doing? I'm sorry. Just let me know if there's anything Bo, I Whoa, there's in the space between that comma. All right, well, I should be getting off. <laughs> I feel so fucking betrayed by a rock star. I thought they were professionals. He's gonna, he's gonna <laughs> push the gun on me. Ha ha ha! I'm mostly scared, guy. bitch. Stupid, Just long haired, place, fucking friend. shitty beard motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay. Sup, John? How you doing? Oh, well, until he wow. If you pitched in and did some work. Christ, Arthur! I nearly died. Oh, don't <laughs> worry. I know. Okay, I'll catch you later then. That's the biggest right, dickhead like thing to ever say. You okay there? Sup, Tilly? What you want? I'm okay. Warm at least. Could do with getting out of here for a bit. I'm sure. Yossi. I understand like no one ever goes here. But it's like part of our thing, I believe. So like, I don't know what's the point of the being here. Hey, 
Where Abigail at? Ladies. What? Doing a good job there. Thank you. Oh, look what she's doing. She's going back. Oh, she gonna give shit to Kieran? Yeah. Is she? Oh, no. Never mind. All right. <laughs> well then. Guess we're going to Reverend. Back to work, boy. Okay. This is basically yeah. the gambling mission that we're gonna have to do in a second. So you guys don't like poker in Red Dead Redemption 2? Well, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to watch me play it because I like it. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's not anyone dying, trust me, it's just, it's just some bottles. I told you. You there! You there! Would you be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to Sweat. challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? A real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready. All right? <laughs> Shoot! Perfecto. Damn it all! How the hell did you beat me, huh? Better oh. shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. Uh, ha, that's a good call, amigo. We got right, two birds now. Simple. First one to hit four flying birds wins. Are you aiming the gun at me, dude? Not no, dude, chill, and man. As as I know out, you're. I know you're pissed shot. off that I beat Be you patient. in that one part. Ah, chill out. There man. they go. Shoot. He didn't even get zero. I mean, you didn't get uh, one, dumbass. Uh, so you can shoot, huh? Give me the ten dollars, bitch. Uh, I actually this, don't really care. Okay. Man of my word. I should be able to acquire money and gain honor. Appreciate it. But it actually kind of make me look sure. like an asshole. <laughs> He's like, oh wow, time. you have all the money You'll from see. being yep. good. No, it, it's literally the same challenges. If you find him again, yep. it's just that. Then you do it for ten dollars, and then you do it for twenty. Then there's some other people in Lemoyne that do basically tell you to do the same challenge. First one to hit four flying birds wins. You hear, Reverend? Reverend Watson. Look at that doggy. Whoa, 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 man. Chill, man. Chill, little Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Okay, I only knew that name after I saw the Compendium update on the left. Alright, stop crying, dude. Chill, man. You're probably Hi, happy, mister. I know. Good morning. Dude, this guy looks like he had a really bad hangover. Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake. It's one of the on most hilarious lines ever. Can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or do you a step outside or do a business here? <laughs> Why can't we all just get along? These Every time I hear that line, it makes me fucking laugh God. so hard. I have children of God. 
How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. Yeah, man. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. Said is suitable for hot temperatures, but then you have to realize that he's wearing black on black I'm on Luther. black on black this on is like gray. <laughs> Fortunate for you right. both for being gentlemen about First this. round, you always Same won, so I'm just gonna kind of chill out with the cards, you know. So, how you two know each other anyway? <clears throat> don't seem like the likeliest of friends. If you don't mind me. Spades clean, black, and a ten black clover. I guess it's something like that. Can we play? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. And life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he it out. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect to him again if you find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game after all, mister. Pile of Boom. Crap. Don't laugh. Oh, my dad, why did you give away all that, God, all those goddamn uh, okay. tokens? I, I can't remember the name. Fuck. Here we go. Are you kidding me? And after this is a downhill. I think what you have to do is try to get someone to get to zero cents. And if it's not you who wins the round where he was zero cents, you're the one who loses. And then you're forced to quit. All right, four black spade and a J and a jack spade black. Okay, I have a jack high. Okay. I'll check. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Alright, no, Check. I don't got anything good. Like, maybe I have, like, a mix. You have a king high, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Uh, how about but that? Don't want to go too high, though. Let's hope the next one's either jack or an aw. <laughs> Not for me. No. Yeah, definitely Not for me. No. Fuck the ace, man. Queen. Hmm. Yeah, we have a pair of queens, so we, we could try. Fine. I should, let's just in. try our best. You're full of joy okay. today, huh? Fall. How about that? Uh, oh, I fucked up. Yes, that's it. Now that is a real hand. All right. Fucking loser, shitty beard motherfucker. Keep it going. You <clears throat> son of a bitch. Let's see if I can get back though. Because now I'm losing. Let me skip this part. I don't like that part. Just leave me alone, please. All right. Ooh, eight and the king. That's very good. You could get a queen and a king with that. Yes. Okay then. And an ace. My God. Uh, I'm fucking definitely full. I'm Damn raising it. it. I'll call. Oh my God, you're such a fucking loser. You got the most amount of money. Fucking play your cards right, you fuck boy. Let's start this low for now. There. I don't think so, kid. God. I'm going all in. Be kind. Let's see then. Mm. Please. Have a look at Christ. 
Oh, yes, Christ, let's fucking nice. go. Wait a minute, that means I win. Because no, he ran out of cards. About. Right? Yeah, that, that's how that's how the thing works. Please. Please cutscene. Cutscene interpret. What the fuck do you mean? No well, sense! Next time I guess. Will you button it? What how? How I said all went for him. Are are you fucking dumb? I mean, now I have the most amount of money. Let's go. Alright. Mmm, they're... Okay, I guess if you get a jack something. <laughs> I guess it's your <laughs> no. bluff. The thing is that no matter... So we the problem is that if I... How do you like this? <laughs> Not looking good, huh? <laughs> Placed on cards yet, and he has That's eight cool. cents, and he fucking folded. All right, all right yeah, I won. Well, gentlemen, yep. time to move along. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell. You're one lucky son of a bitch, you know that? Oh, I'm surely a son of a bitch, but lucky? <laughs> I ain't so sure. Come on, you. Let's move along. Where is he? Who? The Reverend. Where'd he go? I don't know. Ah, oh, shit. Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? <laughs> sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. The guy's such an asshole, crazy, that's funny. I have no you idea who. I don't even see him right now. Oh yeah, over there. Calm down. Get your hands off him. I didn't say a word. You'll keep. Oh, you son of a bitch! You don't knock off Arthur's fucking hat. That's like committing a carnal sin right there. Get your hands off him. Fuck you. Ooh, did you see that blood spider? Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. I don't think so, boy. Oh, there we go. It took you long enough. Oh okay. Let me pick up my hat I before I get this guy. <gasps> no, you ain't, boy. I want to shoot him, but like, I don't always want to. Hey, you. Ah! You better stop right there. Stay away from me. Hey, you. Get back here. Stop, you son of a bitch. I said stop, damn it. Okay, okay. Please, don't hurt me. Tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. What you saw, you forget about it. Or I'll find you. This never happened. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but then there's Revan going on the Get train the tracks. tracks. <laughs> Reverend! Damn you, Reverend. Ooh, those cuts look really cool. Okay. On, Enough of mattering the crowds. Just a simple mistake. You can <laughs> still be safe. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place. I want to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. That was easy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, no, you <laughs> First stop. gang member to die <laughs> gets run over by a What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell was wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Poor Reverend. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah. That's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But 
Our pet Drew is about to level up. That's nice. Hey, shot it back there. Yeah. Oh. I forget what the second pet's gonna be once he levels up to what we do. Revan, please. Come on, Arthur, please just pick him up. Hey, I see he's been out there working hard again. Of course. Hi there, folks. Thank you, Arthur. I should have known. Get that I was wondering when he'd show up. Sleep it off. I don't care, Molly. Fuck off. How about you sniff my scrotum? You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just punch John the one he just. Poor bastard. She's like, oh shit. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Arthur. Glad to be off hey. that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. Let's eat so we don't get skinny. That's probably one of the worst advice I've ever heard in a side conversation ever. Oh, you're not nervous? Uh, oh, you're not. Oh, you're bored? You should be happy about that because you're not fucking scared. You got fucking fun, me. Dumbass. <laughs> right, let's talk to hey, your boy uncle over here. Fuck off, Hosea. You're awesome, but no. Okay. Hey. Get up! <sighs> Careful not to work yourself to death there, old <laughs> I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think you all day. You get to think well, all day. A strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a rob, and you're worried about house chores. Let's Let me go. see the pet. Let me see if you want one up. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. Yeah, you want one up. I can't believe we're going to see Sid. You want one up to an even like stupider looking robot. Let's yeah. go. Valentine. Yeah, <laughs> Drew. Rip and Drew. Civilization. Rip and Drew one. They're going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here. I bet I could have gone to Walmart viewers tonight. If I um 
actually, uh, what's it called? If I actually streamed a little earlier, because it, right now it's almost 2 in the morning. So, I mean, that kind of makes sense why I'm barely getting any views right now. Stop fucking clapping, Uncle. Okay, this is the first thing in this entire story that's actually affects your honor. Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. Just gotta run at him. Whoa, easy. Whoa. Whoa now. Easy. I'll like some more. Yeah, there, you got it. <laughs> well done, Arthur. He might bolt as soon as I get off him. Good. Oh, never mind. Alright. Here's your, Here. what, what's you it go. called? A, you heard gentleman, I forgot sir. what it's called. A gentleman. Uh, I can't see what it's no, named. Okay, yeah, really. Shire. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. <laughs> this guy looks like goddamn Wendon Ricketts. To Valentine! <laughs> like a really, a really old version. Very godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. Haha, <laughs> 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 XDDD. More <laughs> funny <that> content. <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. <laughs> Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Bears always on the right. Or you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Ooh. Wouldn't believe it unless I've seen it. <sighs> and I have the end of stream, so... Here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my <laughs> youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna. Ask <laughs> the worst why. nicknames ever go by. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love I me. I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. 
entertainment. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? what? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. As to get to the docks in time for the time, someplace called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You son of a bitch. Me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. I've been looking too long. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You wanna find out? Yeah, man, you wanna find out? You're, You're fucking plundered the aid, mate. Tilly Jackson. Just get off. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Oh, wow. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. What was that all about? Just someone I used to know. Can I help you, sir? Somebody that I used to copyright. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, As soon as please. someone says that, you know there's going to be trouble. Pulled, mate. Trying to play him. Do this at five Very means, well. mate. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock oh, town. Uh, There's lots of cash down. sometimes. Okay. I might actually end the stream after I will. this mission ends. After you. Thank you, Arthur. It's the other way around. I don't much yeah. like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right now. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. It's go not like he's gonna home. tell the I'm wall. Like, where the fuck is he gonna friend. go? Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Give that man the horse. Just borrowing it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Oh, no. I didn't mean nothing by it. Honest. That's far 
Telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. I'm begging you. All right, come on. Got fucked up his hairs. It literally turned from like a normal slick back hairstyle to Adolf Hitler's okay, hair. No. <laughs> That's a very no, bad thing. I'm, I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not oh, now, not, not <laughs> never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got but a good memory. Oh, fucking the most. Never saw I've ever heard. I haven't. Not not one lick. Not one sense. Get back here, boy. Get him back here. <laughs> oh, he's good. Come he's on. good, you man. Come on. You have a nice day, right. sir. Alright, let's return this horse to its rightful owner. Oh. Hey kid, the guy. He's like, hey, that's my horse. Yep, you could return the horse you stole to, to honor and Valentine to gain honor. I'll just do that real quick. Yeah, I think that's where we will end the episode. Hey, my horse! Am I glad to see you? Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. No, I was planning to just keep it, but then I forgot about your event, so I'm like, hey. I never I mean, I actually gained some honor. Here, right? All right. Um, I think that's where I'm gonna end the stream here. If you guys have enjoyed, be sure to um follow me on my on Twitch at Daru's with two Z's at the end. And um, I also have a YouTube channel. Go subscribe to that. I upload every single stream onto there. Also some highlights. And um, follow me on the Twitter, on my Twitter. It's um, linked here so you'll find it. And um, yeah, you'll see some other stuff. Um, but yeah, anyways, bye.